Welcome to this Windows channel and this is a quick look at one of the or what is probably the major feature of the Windows 10 Spring Creators Update version 1803 or whatever they're going to call it when it comes out and it's actually a nice feature and it's called Timeline. What is Timeline? Timeline allows you to go back in time with the different uh, apps, different uh, things you were working on on your PC and it is very nice because you know sometimes you go on a website or you work on a document a few days ago then you kind of think about it and say oh maybe I want to add something to that document or maybe I want to go back to that article that I've seen you know a week ago and of course one of the biggest problem there is well you know for a website you'll go into your browser history try to find it or on the document side, it's kind of difficult. You might, you know, start going and through your different documents. Timeline makes this easy to do. Basically, it's on your taskbar. So as you will have upgraded, you'll see that the icon will appear. It looks like a um, movie reel type icon if you want. And uh, when you click on it, here it goes. It shows you this. What's this? You've got whatever you were doing today. On the right side of your screen, you'll have a timeline, of course. Mine goes up to March 17th here. So I can go back in time until March 17th right now. And it actually shows you what you've been looking at and what you've been doing in the past days or weeks. So, of course, as you slide through, you can see the different things that actually you've been doing and looking at on your PC. But also it enables you to um, not just look back in time you can also rearrange it a little bit so for example if you uh, want to erase something you can actually do it by right clicking on the tile and it would ask you do you want to remove this or do you want to clear uh, everything earlier today starting from this point for example that will work every day has a minimum of tiles so you see that every day that you see here has six tiles right now but if you look at the tile activity you'll see that there's more on the upper left for example it says earlier today see all 47 activities you click there and it expands and now you have all the activity that you had today throughout your windows uh, program whatever you were doing within your windows operating system so it's a nice feature for that. You can erase from a certain point in time, which also makes it interesting. You can erase a full day if you want. You know, maybe there's sensitive information you don't want people to see. Um, so you can do that. But which is cool because, for example, I'll go back in time and say, oh, yeah, I want to see that article that I uh, was uh, reading about uh, Microsoft Demotes Windows, Windows, you know, Redstone um, 17133. When you click on it, it brings you exactly to that page that you were or that website that you were um, looking at. Now, it doesn't work because I have a little internet problem here, but don't worry, it works very, very, very well. Uh, if it's a document, of course, you go through the timeline, you look at what you were doing. Oh, look at that, T Tech News template. Maybe I want to work on that. I click on it. It will actually go and fetch PowerPoint and my Tech News template that I use to do the daily, daily news, for example. So it works with Microsoft Edge browser. It works with the um, Microsoft Office apps. It will work with your regular Windows apps for uh, news, calendar, uh, mail, whatever you've been doing. All of that is registered in here. Now, what's the drawback of Timeline? That's the problem. Timeline only works right now with pretty much Microsoft apps. And this is the downside. This is why maybe somebody and maybe a lot of people will never use it. Now, Google Chrome has promised that it's coming with notifications within Windows 10. So we're hoping that Google Chrome might actually add the possibility to also use Timeline eventually. Timeline you know, uh, future will depend entirely on the possibility of third-party apps from showing here. Because, let's face it, most people use something else in Edge. Right now, the websites that you'll see here work only in Edge. Another cool thing about Timeline, by the way, is the synchronicity of all of the data with all of your PCs. 
So for example, if you have more than one PC running Windows 10, I have three here uh, that are uh, two on Insiders and this one on the uh, latest version. Well, the timeline you see here is also the timeline you'll see on the other machines. So that means you can also use timeline easily to go back and check an article or open, uh, you know, for example here that Tech News template, it would open even on another machine that I have because everything is synced to the cloud through the OneDrive and that's a pretty cool feature. So you go back in time and you have tons of information in there that will appear of course on this list of timeline which is pretty cool honestly. One of the probably the biggest new feature within uh, the Spring Careers update and very very worth uh, checking out. Very nice to see and of course each day has you know uh, the possibility if you click on a date to see even more information about that specific thing. So that's timeline for you. A great, great new feature that um, is introduced with the latest version of Windows 18.03. You get out of timeline how? You simply click anywhere else from where you are in the timeline and you're back on your desktop, by the way. If you enjoyed my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.